is most people have seen more than the fair share of rainfall, but quite a change coming up this week, mainly dry in actual fact after a damp start in some places, a fair amount of sunshine by day, but problems at night really for gardens because it is going to be quite cool overnight and there could well be a fairly widespread ground frost from midweek onwards, a touch of air frost returning to the glens of Scotland by the end of the week. But the rainfall certainly has been quite noteworthy over the past 24 hours. This is the rainfall up until 10 o'clock this morning. In the past 24 hours, then 20 millimetres at Cardiff Airport. That's 0.8 inches, 25 millimetres representing one inch. Interestingly, though, in the middle of this rain band, Manchester, just one millimetre up until that time. But there is some more rain to come. And it's all because of this area of low pressure, which is actually centred around Lincolnshire at the moment, with bands of rain spiralling around it. You can see the bright echoes here representing the heaviest rainfall. So some quite heavy rainfall at the moment over northern England, and also this band coming through Wales and across into the Midlands, way to the north of London, incidentally, where it's sunny now at the moment anyway. But more showers to come in the extreme south, despite the sunshine breaking through. Some of those showers could be fairly sharp, but the damp area in the middle really is going to change very little during the rest of today. More heavy rain to come. Very dreary, very damp, very misty over the hills and on the east coast as well. Some brighter weather across in the west, but the best of the weather again, not for the first time over the past week, is over northern and western Scotland. Lots of warm sunshine to come there. 16 degrees on the cards and 16 degrees across these more southern parts too, at least where it stays dry with some sunshine. Well, that band of cloud and rain and really quite dreary weather continuing across those central parts of the country right the way through the night and turning a bit drizzly too across the south once again, turning very misty here. But a mild night in the south under clearer skies in Scotland, though, there will be a touch of frost once again. Well, there's that very weak weather system lying across central parts of Britain during Monday. So again, a cloudy start with outbreaks of rain only slowly petering out during the day. But it will do in most places. Perhaps by the end of the day, that rain band extending across from Ireland through the Irish Sea across into northern England. Again to the north, plenty of sunshine to come, and to the south tomorrow, plenty of sunshine as well, with temperatures recovering nicely. That weak weather band then just beginning to move northwards for a short time on Tuesday. Not much left of it by then, it's mainly a band of cloud and the odd shower. So a good deal of fine weather to come on Tuesday, temperatures 15 to 18 degrees once again, 13 up in the north of Scotland, but again, plenty of sunshine to look forward to there. In the middle of the week, we're going to see high pressure beginning to build from the north, but it'll be a cold high, and that's the reason why we're going to see the frost at night, certainly the ground frost and a touch of air frost in some places. But a good deal of fine weather to come, plenty of sunshine right the way through the country in the middle part of the week. Just for a short time, though, there could be one or two showers just clipping that far northeastern part of Scotland. Now, Friday's chart looks simple. It looks like we're going to have high pressure sitting right over the country, so a very little change in the weather. But in actual fact, confidence in that chart is a little bit low at the moment. It may change as the week goes along, so stay tuned. But at the moment, it looks very nice.